Right now my wife's mowing the lawn because I'm, I'm doing YouTube stuff. All right, bread's looking almost, almost good. I want your advice. I know I give out a lot of tips and tricks and stuff for live looping, and that's just based on my experience, my sound, um, my rig, my stuff, right? I wanna put it out to my fans, subscribers of my channel, um, because you guys know my stuff best. You've listened to my stuff, you've seen all of my rigs, you've seen all of my things and what I do well and what I don't do well. And um, I don't think there's anybody better to give me advice on what you think I should implement, whether it's an equipment change or a performance change, something I need to practice, rehearse, whatever. What do you think, Sunday? Oi. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you what I mean. Look. Let's turn the studio on, shall we? Oh yeah, that's looking pretty good. I mean, this is my current setup, right? Here's my guitar. I usually have a wireless mic, but this is my studio rig, so. But yeah, so at the brain, I mean, I've got my loop station. Uh, I've got a few videos going through all of my, my pedals, vocals, effects, looper, various uh, additions volume pedal. I mean, what do you guys think I could add to this or remove from this or swap out from this? A friend of mine uh, thinks I should ditch this and get a Helix because then I could ditch that pedal. I could ditch my tuner. I could do everything that I'm doing here with a Helix. Um, I mean, what do you think? Or it could be something else. It could be a, a Headrush gig board. It could be a you know, one of the boss uh, 1000s. Pros and cons, would that be too heavy? Um, I don't know. I mean, that's not to say that I need to actually do anything, but I, 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 like most people, want to keep getting better and better. I want to keep pushing myself and I want to keep looking for bigger stages, which I'm currently doing. And I feel like I already do a pretty good job of that, right? I mean, I, uh, my equipment is designed for big stages, stages that I do get the occasional performance opportunity to play for, but that I don't do on a regular basis. Enough yet. What could I do that's bigger here? But I have two main boundaries that we need to kind of keep everything in. One of them is the fact that I need to fly. I need to fly with this rig. I've got a full 50 pound Pelican case and then I've got a full rack case so far. So I need to be able to keep all of my equipment as a flyable rig. The other thing is that I wanna keep everything down to like just one instrument, me, the guitar, and a microphone. I feel like that's where the challenge comes in. There's a lot of incredible loopers like Younger, Y-O-U-N-G-R, you need to check him out, he's incredible. But this guy has a drum kit, like 14,000 keyboards, a guitar, a bass, multiple guitars, multiple microphones, uh, and an incredible Ableton rig. I mean, he sounds truly incredible, but that, setup is just not what I'm looking for personally. I mean, I, I like the minimalistic stuff, even though when you think about it, I'm kind of running a spaceship. Um, I want to keep it within those confines. Anyway, let's cut this video short. I want you guys to throw in the comments or any of my social media, wherever you're at, tell me what you think I could add or what I could change or what I could do. Maybe that's just practice guitar more. I know I could sh I'll sharpen up on a lot of my solos, especially, but um, just, Give me a heads up. I'm throwing this out there to you guys. Let me know what you think. Peace out. I'll talk to you soon. Looking forward to see what comes up. Also, please, I'm asking you, like and subscribe to this channel. I'm really trying to grow it, really trying to kick this thing as an independent artist, and I can only do that with your help. So if you've done so, please uh, share it around. If you haven't, click that like and subscribe button. See you next time.